data centers, they're popping up everywhere. The demand for artificial intelligence is driving that growth, but that growth is being bringing some questions and pushback here in West Michigan and elsewhere around the state. Data centers are popping up, but what about that impact on the communities? News 8's Tessa Koresh joins us now with what these facilities really are and why so many communities are paying attention. So what are they? Well, you explained it a little bit. At the most basic level, they are these massive buildings that are just full of computers, and they store and process the digital information that we use every day, like streaming, cloud storage, social media, and artificial intelligence. What's changed is the demand. AI requires huge amounts of power and computing, and that's what's driving this rapid growth. Now, I know that there are people that are in favor of this and they think it's a great idea, but why Michigan? Why now? Because there are also a group of people that don't think it's a great idea. Right. Well, why Michigan is because we have a cooler climate, which helps data centers out with cutting cooling costs, and lawmakers just approved, approved major tax exemptions to bring them here. There are already 59 data centers in Michigan, including nine in Grand Rapids, and that doesn't include any of the new projects being proposed. Just last week, we covered a proposed center in Lowell, one of the largest developments that community has seen, and people there packed a meeting to voice their concerns. Yeah, so what are the main concerns when these people have these objections? Well, mostly the cost and the environmental concerns. These centers run constantly 24-7 and they generate a lot of heat. So they need significant electricity and depending on the design, significant water to keep them cooled down. But I spoke today with Consumers Energy and they're the provider for many of these projects and they emphasized they are prepared to support these without raising any of the costs for the residents who use it. So it's easy to, for people to, to be concerned about it. But on the other side, there have to be benefits too, right? Absolutely. I'm hearing about construction jobs, tax, re tax revenue, and improvements to the power grid because large projects often require upgrades that then benefit nearby neighborhoods. You've been all in this all day, and uh, what will we be watching for next? Well, tonight at 5 and 6, we're taking you to Sparta, where the village is considering adding a formal definition of a data center into its zoning ordinance. There's no actual proposal but they're thinking ahead. Well, and it's going to come to a town near you. You can almost bet on that. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.